So as it currently stands, we are using the 2019 WordPress theme and we have access to a bunch of other 2011, 2015, all the default WordPress themes. But I want to focus on creating our own unique theme, which will hold um, our advanced custom post types, uh, advanced custom fields, um, not advanced custom post types, just standard custom post types. Um, and to start off with, we're going to use a timber starter theme. So I've already mentioned that in our plugin dependencies, we have the um, we have the timber plugin, and what this allows us to do is to create timber themes. If we go ahead and clone this theme, or we could download it as a zip, we'll we'll get it as a zip for now. And we go into a bedrock installation. If you follow the bedrock tutorial, this will make sense. If not, just install it in your standard themes directory. And we'll go ahead and unzip it right into our themes directory. Cool. Let's see. I'm going to call this what Jack has made just for simplicity. And now, if we open up our WordPress environment again. We should have a new timber theme, which we can activate. And now when we visit our site, it'll look pretty messy and very basic, which is fine because this isn't going to be the front end. We are mainly using um, WordPress as a back end, so the theme doesn't matter too much, but we'll have a lot of our configuration to do with advanced custom fields and custom post types and later on our blocks. So, you know, you can change out the image and change the theme name to whatever you want. But for now, I'm just gonna cover um, adding in some custom post types because in my current setup, I have a couple of different um, post types such as uh, events I've presented at and um, inspiration that I found, sort of design inspiration and then yeah blog posts case studies all the usual jazz so to do this i'm going to open up my existing theme and we're going to go into the functions file and find where i register custom post types i'm going to go ahead and copy this but i'll be going into the setup in a moment. We'll have to make some tweaks to it anyways. And if I go into my new starter theme, this is our default function setup from our starter theme. And you can see we've got a register post types function already set up, which I'm just going to replace with my previous um, post types and the indentation is a little broken because VS Code doesn't really like PHP. Neither do I. And now if I refresh, we might get okay, cool. So we've got reviews, that's for like my book reviews, journal, which I've never really maintained, inspiration, events, case studies. And so these are all our custom post types. But the problem that we currently have is if we go back to our GraphQL schema, you can see we haven't got case studies. We haven't got events showing up as uh, schema um, objects or queryable fields. And this is because we haven't registered them using the WP GraphQL um, fields that we need. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. If we go to the documentation, you can see that in order to register it in your GraphQL schema, you need some additional fields, um, which we'll be adding to each of our post types. So let's go to the top. Our first post type is our case study. And we have an array of the labels just under all of our standard configuration. Get rid of that. 
we want to add in these three fields showing GraphQL, what is the single name for it? So this would be a case study. And then the plural, case studies. And then we want to repeat this for each of our post types. And you can see now we have uh, case studies which allows us to query the nodes for the case studies. We have events and inspiration. And currently this has no data. I'm going to be pulling that down from my current uh, WordPress environment online. Um, but now we have it set up so that we can query all of our custom post types within WP GraphQL. And yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Um, in the next video, I'm going to be going over using ACF with the WP GraphQL plugin and how we can create custom fields for our custom post types and then raise those fields in our schema.